In an earlier video, we outlined how to take a building model created in SketchUp version 8 and add it as a multi-patch feature for use in ArcScene. As time goes by, the landscape changes and buildings need to be modified. The question has been, how do we update multi-patch features? This video hopes to answer that question. In the past, we would have to delete the feature that had changed. In this, in this case, the building model would be totally erased, and it would be replaced with a new model created in SketchUp. Using ArcGIS 10 and SketchUp 8 improves this process quite a bit. The key to moving between the two environments is the Collada Data Exchange format, which both Google and Esri now support. We're going to use it multiple times in this process. So we're going to start with a building that needs to be modified due to an addition being built out the back. In this case, the, the building is in the My Buildings feature class, and we're going to export this to SketchUp. To do so, we're going to use uh, Collada, and we're going to start by selecting the building that needs to be modified in ArcScene. Then we're going to select the tool in the Arc Toolbox called Multipatch to Collada. There are four pieces of information that we need to provide. The first is the data layer that contains the uh, feature to be modified. The second is the name of a totally empty file that we can put the Collada output uh, in. This is created at this level. Do not create it ahead of time. It must not exist, actually. This process in the input form will create it. Next, we're going to select the prepend option, which means take the name of the layer and put it on the front of each of the files that Collada Export creates. The last is uh, to select the field in the attribute table that we want to use in the file name. In this case, I'm selecting identifier, which is a field that I created that holds a unique uh, numeric string that I used. In this case, it's 365978. The results are the Collada file itself, mybuildings underscore 365 underscore 978.dae. They'll also have a KML file with coordinates that uh, Esri has created to help us put the model back in place. And we've got the texture files. So now we've imported the building model from Collada into SketchUp 8. There it sits, ready to be modified. We'll make the changes, and now we've accounted for the addition that the owner has put out the back. We want to send this back up to ArcScene so we can put it back in the landscape and correct the layer. To do that, we're going to export to Collada, and we're going to replace the Collada file in the folder that we created initially. We're going to overwrite it. ArcScene will be able to see that file, so what we're going to do is, uh, in ArcScene, we'll start a 3D edit session. And we will select the building that's going to be replaced. And then we're going to use the Replace with Model option. We're going to then search for that Collada file. It's the one that we overwrote. And there it is. So we'll select it. And now it's sitting on the landscape. And we're back with an updated uh, data layer. A few things to note on this. If the building modification significantly changes the center of mass of the building, some spatial adjustment may be required in the x, y, and z directions. The workflow replaces the updated multi-patch uh, building model. If you need to retain the original version of this building model, you need to save a version of the multi-patch layer before executing the option to replace with model. Finally, the folder 365978, that was just a temporary holding spot for our Collada files back and forth. So now you can delete it and start fresh with a new one. I hope this has been helpful to you, and if you have questions, you'll be in touch with us. We'd love to hear from you and establish a conversation about the use of uh, multi-patch and uh, 3D GIS.